Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. Now, we've just made a little pumpkin head, a little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin head, and you'll find my tutorial is probably just before this this tutorial uh, in the list. But if, if it's not, it's the, uh, the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin head tutorial that you're going to be looking for. You're going to need me to make one of these for you to be able to do this tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to put that little pumpkin head on a body, okay? And it's going to be our little um, jack-o'-lantern uh, figurine. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to put that to one side so he's not in my way. We've got our little pumpkin head. You're going to take a couple more green bands. And what we're going to do is attach our head to the top of our loom. We're going to be using a single loom offset configuration so columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two arrow is facing towards you open part of the peg is facing towards you so what we're going to do to start with we need to be able to pull some bands down here to act as our neck and I, I still want to leave these two up at the top here because they're sort of like the uh, the uh, leaves on top of him. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through, I'm going to find a spot up the top here that doesn't look too obvious. I'm going to grab my two new green bands on the end of my hook and I'm going to flick them at my computer screen. <laughs> I'm going to drag them through without grabbing orange bands, which is what's giving me the problem here. I'm still going to flick them. So have a little band fight with yourself and see if you can flick them at your computer screen. So <laughs> drag them through here. I have not got a very deep hook on this particular hook. If you look here, it's quite shallow, but it's good for doing fiddly things. This is fiddly, but I need a deep hook. All right, so I've managed to get them on here. I'm going to tie, um, well not tie, I'm going to do a slip knot. I suppose it is tying a slip knot, isn't it? Take the two closest to you, up, over and off, okay? I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm just going to hang on to it. I'm going to take three bands. I'm using three because for necks I like to use three. I'm going to slide those on. Again, I'm going to do a slip knot like that. That one I can do tight, okay? I'm going to use my rainbow loom hook for this because it has a deep hook. I'm pushing my rainbow loom hook up the bottom of the head and I'm going to poke it through the side here where I want to pull my bands down through. So I'm going to pull my bands down through the center like that. Now I've lost two of the bands and I've only got one on my hook. That's okay, because if you squidge this down, you can find the others. They're just there. They're not very far away. All right, and then you can pull this back into shape again. All right, so there are the three bands that we're going to use for his neck. And I am going to place them. Let me see. I want to... Uh, what colour am I going to do his shirt? I might do his shirt an olive green, I think. So I'm going to place shoulders and the start of his shirt in an olive green. You can do brown, but I'm going to put two olive green here, two olive green here, and then I'm going to put two here just to start with so that I've, I've put bands where I need to on that center peg. I'm then going to put my three bands here for his neck okay now i'm just going to do his body as i would a normal body so one two three and four we normally do four for a body if you remember and try not to throw my bands all over the place i've already flicked them at myself at the computer screen <laughs> So, we've got one, two, three, let's do another pair here, four, and four, and we're then going to do pants, and I think I'm going to do pants in 
caramel. How do you say it? Caramel. I'm going to do caramel pants. So one, two, oopsie, three, and all the way down here, four. I'm going to do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, and then the groin area of his pants. One, two, I'm going to take two, so you can see what I'm doing, place them from the centre to the right, and then two from the centre to the left. I'm going to put an end cap here, single band, wrap it around my hook twice and pop that there. We're going to use a single band as a crossover, place that here. Single band as a crossover, and place that here, so they're going in a triangle, okay? Now, I'm going to use the olive green. These are a rainbow loom olive green. I'm going to place a single in a triangle shape up his torso like that. Now we need to do hands. So take a single flesh tone band, wrap it once and twice. You're going to slide onto a pair of flesh tone bands. And for arms we usually do five pair. But I'm going to do t-shirt sleeves on him. So I've got two. I'm going to do one more pair. So it's three pair of flesh tone. And then I'm going to do two pair of the olive green so that it looks like he's got shirt sleeves. And we will pop that on the end here. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Single, wrap it twice, three pair. So there's our first pair, our second pair. And our third pair, and then two pair of the olive green, oopsie, there we go, I'm going to pop that on his other shoulder right there okay so now we have to do some feet okay now as you can see I'm not at the bottom of the uh, the loom I don't need to be at the bottom of the loom because basically we haven't done a head or any hair or anything like that so let's see what do I need to do now um, I've finished with orange I'm going to get that out of the way so I've got some space we need feet on his feet, I've made very large feet because on the picture that I looked at, he had really huge feet. So, take a single band. I'm using green, dark green. Wrap it once and twice. We're going to slide this onto a pair. And another pair. Because if you have a look here, I've got the end cap, one pair and two pair. And then I've done the little heel. Okay, so now I'm going to take another pair. I'm going to wrap it once and twice. I'm going to lift this up and over like that so it sits in between. And I'm then going to take another pair of green and I'm going to slide these on. So I'm going to do the first two bands. Then I'm going to do the wrapped band. Oh, if I can get my fingers to work. There we go. And then the last two. The reason I do that is otherwise it can get a little bit um, tangled. So that's his going, to, going to be his little foot. I'm going to put that on the end of his leg. There, come here. I'm knocking my loom over. That's not terribly intelligent. There we go. Let's do the other side. Single band, wrap once and twice. 
slide onto a pair, another pair, slide that down your hook, take a pair, that once and twice, move those first two loops over the top so it's in the middle like that, take another pair of green bands and we slide these on. Okay, pretty it up, reclaim the end, angle, and it goes on the end of this leg, like that. Okay, now the other thing that you can see that I've got on him is this little sort of neck ruffle. Okay, and we're going to do that as well. I'm going to do that with brown bands. All you do is take a single brown band, wrap it twice around your hook, Take a pair of brown and another pair of brown and you've made a tiny little chain like that. We're going to do about five of them. So that's one. Let's do another one. Oops. Slide on to a pair and reclaim. Slide on to another pair and reclaim so that's two okay so here's three. Claim. So there's four. Let's do one more. I know it's a bit tight and squeezy, isn't it? Trying to fit it all onto your hook. You could have put them on a holding hook, I suppose. Oops, push them back, put those two on the end. Slide on. And there we go. So I've got my five tiny little chains there. Now I'm going to take two bands, I'm going to pop them on the end of my hook and I'm going to move these all over. All these little loops are going to move onto those two bands, okay, like this. Keep it nice and taut, reclaim the end of your bands. All right, you're going to take the two closest to you, up, over, and off. You're left with these tie-off ones. You're going to splay them out and pop that first little chain through it so it acts as an anchor like that. Okay, so you've got a little star, similar to how we did the uh, star on the front of Wonder Woman's uh, headband. And all we're going to do is splay that open and put his head through that. All right, now if you're worried that it won't fit on, um, take his head off, use those like that, and you can pop it on here like that and then put the head back on, but I'm just going to stretch it at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there so I can tie it off nicely, and I'm gonna stretch this. I mean, it's a rubber band, it's gonna stretch. See, so I'm gonna stretch it at the end. All right, so I've done that. Let's loop up our little dude. We're going to dig down past his legs and grab the first bit of his trousers. Make sure that you hold that in place so it doesn't come off the loom. Hold his foot in place. Loop him up. Now, because I'm doing trousers, I always like the crotch bit to be done first and then the trousers to go over the top. So I'm going to go down and grab the two top caramel bands here and loop to the side and do the same on the other side and you can do the middle now as well it doesn't really matter and then when I loop this up it's on top 
okay I just think it looks nicer dig down find those two bottom caramel bands oh that's only one there's the other loop up and loop up you're pushing the crossover bands back with the back of your hook okay Now this is our jack-o'-lantern, we're going to have to make one where he's got his head under his arm instead of on his neck, aren't we? Headless horseman. Now put the arms over here like so. Let's do the arms first, up to here. Move the head back, tilt up here. And this is where we're going to tie off. And I'm going to use the olive green to tie off. Actually, I'm going to use dark brown. I'll tell you why. Because this is dark brown. And then we won't have to worry too much about it not looking like it fits in. So I'm going to take my hook, push all the way down through, past all those bands, put the two dark brown bands on the end of my hook, pull through back up to the top I'm going to tie off like that okay that's how I've tied it off if I want it more secure I'll just pop it over his head like that I'm going to take him off the loom I like to use the back of a hook to help me I have a hook that doesn't have a handle it's just got a metal shaft to it I'm going to just use that to help me ease my little guy off the loom there we are now please bear in mind he is very top heavy Let's splay this open, stretch it as far as you can, squeeze his head through like that and just spread them out around his neck to look like a little pumpkin head. And there he is. I hope you enjoy making him. Take care.